Hey guys, welcome to Harmony Day 2020. Um, the Human Rights Group would like to share some thoughts with you. We haven't been able to have an assembly because of the COVID-19, so we've made a little video with you. So enjoy. For Harmony Day, we gather with many religions in our school to offer a greeting of peace. The Muslim greeting of peace is Assalamu Alaikum. The Hindu greeting of peace is Shabdi or Bhutmatko. Ashirwad Akbar Posatta. The Sikh greeting of peace is Vahe Guruji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guruji Ki Fateh. The Christian greeting of peace is Jesus said, Peace I live with you, my peace I give you, peace be with you. This is Buddhism. May all being everywhere plague with suffering their body and mind quickly be freed from their illnesses. May those scared stop being afraid and may those bound be free. May the police find power and may people think of befriending one another. May they attain good of good. The Jewish greeting of peace is Shalom Aleichem. I invite you now to offer a greeting of peace using any of those words or maybe even a social distancing physical action to those around you. Press pause to do that. Every year at BDC for Harmony Day, we have students share their story and their opinions about Harmony. And so today I'd like to introduce Jake to do that and we have Jane who's going to be introducing, uh, interviewing Jake. <laughs> okay Jake, so can you tell us what is your ideal school community for LGBT plus students? Well, I think when I first came to this school as a young trans person still trying to figure themselves out. I felt very nervous and apprehensive of trying to show any facet of what I consider my true self. You know, I was wearing my private school uniform with my skirt and blouse and that was the role I was supposed to fill. But I think having a supportive friend group who I knew cared made it easier for me to make those first steps coming out and I think being supportive to everyone around you is very important as well as having structures like like the LGBT group who first were around me when I was coming out and helped me make my name changes in the role and helped me feel more accepted in the school community. I think having structures like that is very important. Thank you. And so what is your takeaway thought for students to consider today? I think that we should recognise that everyone has different life experiences, really diverse genders and sexualities and ethnicities and religions. Everything, everyone's different and you need to go forth with an open mind and I think definitely try not, attempt not to ridicule or make fun of things you don't understand because there's always a person on the other end and they're more than willing to share their story with you. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts today. Cheers. This time last year, leading up to Harmony Day 2019, we were struck with the devastating news that a Christchurch mosque had been attacked, killing 51 Muslim men, women and children. I stood in front of you all like I am here today, talking about the fact that we needed Harmony Day more than ever. Sadly, I'm here once again with the same message. The worldwide pan pandemic we now know as coronavirus has been affecting us for over two months now. And in those two months, we've seen an alarming rate of racism, aggression, and greed. Yes, Harmony Day is about celebrating differences and culture, but it's also about kindness and resilience. And I cannot stress this enough, kindness can make a difference. <clears throat> Throughout this tough time, we need to remember that we're all in the same boat, and no matter what, we need to keep looking out for each other as this is the true meaning of Harmony Day. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of On The Couch with me, more your host. So today on the couch with me I have Chloe, Hagen, Jasmine. Um, so today my first question will be for Chloe. What do you think about racism and equality at Bishop and what can you do about it? Um. Well, it's actually surprisingly common and that's just not okay. It's like, shouldn't be a normal thing. Like, those, oh, it's just a joke. It's not a joke, it's just rude. 
um, I reckon that, yeah, it's, it shouldn't be as common as it is because some people are like, oh, this gen, like, girls can't do this, girls can't do that, and then, but then, you know, we should be equal, not, we should have an equality of, you know, what we do. I know what you mean, you're like saying, like, how people yeah, say, that, oh, girls can't do that, and yeah. guys are better doing this, like, soccer should be illegal. I know what you mean, though. Yeah. So, what do you guys think about how well do you think you guys are being able to express your opinion at school? Um, well, there are like a lot of groups and things that, you know, will listen to all age groups and will listen to everyone's opinion. But um, I feel like a lot of the time the older students mostly get, like, get to speak about how they feel and their opinions more than the younger age groups. So you would wish that the year seven and eight and nines would have a better chance at saying what they think at an assembly and like stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, because the seniors do get like because they're more important because they're about to graduate and all that, and we're kind of left behind. So people don't like teachers or other people normally don't listen to us. So they do seniors first. It depends on what the comment is, first of all, like, if it was something, like, really, you know, bad, then I guess, like, most, most of the people around will agree that it was bad, but then, you know, people just play it off like it's a joke. It's like, oh, we just did that, it's just a joke. Yeah. So you mean, like, people aren't taking you guys as seriously as they should? No. Because of your age? Yeah, and even people my age do it. A lot and um, like they'll just go around saying the N word and then they'll pl they play it off as a joke. Yeah, and, a joke. and then there'll be that one person that tells you not to say it, but they don't listen to you. And then there will be another person that'll come and tell you what the other person was saying, but they'll say the N word themselves. Oh, so they won't, no one's taking it seriously. And then we'll tell them to not say that, but they're saying no, we didn't say that. The other person did. So and then shifting the blame. So they're like not <laughs> agreeing with it, but they're yeah, using the same stuff. Yeah. yeah. yeah like the other person same, did it, not us. Same goes for equality. Um, for instance, somebody said something like, oh, girls can't do this. And then they'd be like, me and my friends would just be like, oh, why'd you say that? And like girls yeah. can do stuff. Yeah, that yeah we can do that. Boys can do some things that girls can't. Girls can do some things. That uh, so just, get, but the thing that I hate the most is that how we don't really get paid equally. Like, for instance, netball isn't that widely known as it is, like as basketball is. And so yeah. Uh, I guess people don't take our opinions as seriously as they would older people's. Yeah, well, you, I mean, I love hearing your opinions, so hopefully this gets out a message. And thanks for joining me on the couch today, though, guys. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed our little clip of Harmony Day Assembly. 2020 and don't forget everyone belongs.